getting nowhere with this. Getting nowhere with abandoned cars, smashed up, stripped down, sticking out in traffic, many dumped, most stolen, then steadily vandalized. Most everywhere I go is a lot of abandoned cars. Abandoned on the city's back roads and its main roads, in front of homes, stores, schools, churches, businesses, fire hydrants, even the city stadium. We're getting very frustrated with trying to get the city to respond. Police don't worry no more. But plenty of people do worry. People like Helen Yost and Dick Ambrose, who work here in Germantown at the Roland Company and constantly deal with abandoned cars and their unanswered calls to police. For the Roland Company, it isn't just the cars that get dumped at their doorstep and driveways, but once these cars are stripped of nearly every possible accessory, suddenly the cars become mini dump sites themselves. And suddenly, new accessories start appearing inside. In this case, a whole lot of cinder blocks from a nearby demolition site. People, they see one thing dumped and they just start dumping everything. Within the first 24 hours, all the wheels disappear. Within the next 24 to 48, all the windows and all the items that can possibly be stripped are taken from the car. We're 267 years old, and all we're asking for, we support the city, we would like them to support us. And get these cars out of here. Correct. Having them outside your business is bad. Outside your home, though, can be even worse. They use it for parts to sell, and what they don't use to sell, they take it to use for prostitution. They go in your nighttime and do their dirty work, and it's a shame they should, you know, take all these friendly cars up the street. Residents say this car sat in front of this church for two months, blocking a fire hydrant. This car is kind of, uh, I got like two months ago. Um, nobody cannot take it here. The city hall don't do nothing at all. Weeks later, police did do something about it. They didn't tow it. They ticketed it citing the owner for abandonment. Some streets have so many wrecked and abandoned cars, they don't leave residents with many parking spots left. And who'd want to park next to this anyway? There are abandoned cars in the Schuylkill Expressway, too. Over time, we didn't see this one get towed, but we did see it get stripped. It didn't just attract looters, either, but eventually at least one other abandoned car a few weeks later. By far, the place we saw the most abandoned cars was along the Roosevelt Expressway, in the median, on the shoulder, or just off the street. The police could have to care more. When you call 911, you see that car over there, like a year already, you know? They didn't even care no more. Who's responsible? Well, after blaming the thieves, looters, and owners who steal, dump, and destroy them, people blame the police, whose job it is to remove them. But a job many, including even the police commissioner, admit isn't getting done. I've never, ever heard so many complaints about one issue. So many complaints about these cars, the commissioner says he promises there will, by the end of March, be a plan to get the job done, because it's not getting done now. No, I, I, we are going to, at least the police department, we're going to redouble our efforts. Kind of gives, gives a, a subliminal message, if you will, that the neighborhood is, uh, is run down, is out of control. Up till now, though, residents say it's not just the cars that have been abandoned. So have their hopes of ever clearing the streets of these cars and the crime that comes with them. In Germantown, Steve Keeley, Fox News.